In today's video series, we're going to be making ourselves a responsive website about Justin Timberlake and one of his hits from 2016. So basically, we're going to have a homepage which looks a bit like this. I've got his name at the top in the header, got a little nav bar here, and we've got the rollover effect. So when we roll over the different buttons, they change color. Got a bit of information about him along with a picture and a little footer at the bottom. Okay, you also see as we go to the lyrics page, we've got the lyrics to one of his um, songs. Can't stop the feeling. You can also press the play button there and have a listen to that song. Okay, you can scrub through it and play with the volume. That's pretty cool. And finally, on the video page, you can actually watch the film clip of that song. So, alrighty. And the good thing about this website is that it's responsive, which means we can view it at different screen sizes. So, if we were to view this at a mobile phone screen size, I'll just drop this down, or an iPad size the screen will adjust. Okay, so let's go back over to the home page and just drop our browser size down. Okay, so this is what it would look like on an iPad screen. It all fits nicely still. The picture gets a little bit smaller, as does the header up there. See so the lyrics and the video don't change much, but they do fit on an iPad. Now, if we were to keep going smaller down to a mobile phone screen size, watch everything adjust itself in a sec. It's about to go there it is there so now we'd be viewing this on a mobile phone screen size which is about 480 pixels in width okay, so that's the video you can see it's dropped in size the lyrics didn't really change too much There's a bit of scrolling to be done there but that's all right and on the home page you can see the picture has got a bit smaller but all the writing is still there all right so as we go back a bit bigger, you'll see the layout change and everything just gets a little bit larger, like the header and the picture. Alrighty, so that's what we're going to be making. We'll do the HTML part in this video, and I'll come back in a second video where we'll do the CSS to style it up. Alrighty, so I'm just going to close that now, and I'm going to head into my account and set up some folders. Okay, so bear with me while my computer loads. Here we go. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your web design folder and make a brand new folder called Justin Timberlake. Okay, inside that Justin Timberlake folder, you're going to have two folders, one called Images, and inside of that we just got the picture of Justin Timberlake. And over in the Media folder is where we've got the audio track and we've got the video file as well for his song Can't Stop the Feeling. You'll also notice we've got this info document here, which is basically the information that goes on the website. Okay, so you don't have to type it all out, it's all there, ready for you to copy and paste across. Okay, so we've got the index page and then we've got the lyrics page stuff there as well. I've also included a little bit of HTML, a line break, at the end of each line of his lyrics just to save you doing that, because it would be quite tedious if you had to do that yourself. Alrighty, so let's get started by popping over to brackets. And before we start typing anything, we're just going to make a new document and we're going to save that new document. So go to File and Save As. Now you're going to need to go into the folders you just created a moment ago. So I'll just find my web design folder and I'm going to go inside Justin Timberlake. And inside the Justin Timberlake folder, I'm just going to make my first web page up called index.html. Remember, we always call the home page of a website the index page. And we always put .html on the end just to tell the computer we are making a web page. I'm going to save that. Okay, I'm going to get a file and new again and make a second new document. And I'm going to go to File and Save As. And this time I'm going to call it lyrics.html. It's our page for the lyrics to his song. Whoops, I'm saving it in the wrong spot. I need to go back to my web design folder and save it into the Justin Timberlake folder. That's better. And we've got one more page to make up, so just go to File and New again, and we're just going to go to File and Save As. Don't forget, you'll need to just go back to that web design folder and into the Justin Timberlake folder you just created. And this one's going to be called video.html. All right, so once you've got that in, click on Save, and you can see now I've got all three pages made up. So the index, lyrics, and video html pages. I want you to go back to the index.html page, that's our home page, and we're going to get started on that. Okay, so in line one there, let's just put in the usual starting tag of doc type html, just to tell the computer we're making a html document. After that we can start our html tags up, so put in the html tags, 
Yeah, don't forget we want to tell the computer we are making this web page using the English language. So inside the first HTML tag there, just put a space and write lang equals en in quotation marks. That just tells the um, website that it's going to be written in English. Alrighty. So indenting across now on the next line, we're going to put in our head tags. Inside the head tags, we put in a title. Now the title for today's web page is simple. Justin Timberlake. That's all it is. And that's our head section done for now. We'll come back and link up our style sheet in there a little bit later. Coming in after the head tags, we'll stick in our body tags. Okay, there's a fair bit to go inside the body, so leave a bit of space. First thing we want to do inside the body tags is put that nice big header at the top. So let's put in a header tag, and again, we're just going to write Justin Timberlake as our header. All right. Coming in beneath the header, so just pop down a couple of lines. We're going to put in the nav bar or our menu bar. So let's put in the nav tag like usual, just whoops, just to show that we are making up a navigation bar. And don't forget nav bars or the navigational links are made up using an unordered list or bullet points. All right, so we need to make a UL tag for the unordered list. And inside there, we're just going to, whoops, not do OL tags. We're going to do LI tags, so list item tags. We're going to make a list of the three pages. So we've got the home page, the first one. The next list item or the next bullet point needs to be lyrics. And the last list item we're going to create is called video. Okay. So that little section there will create some bullet points on our page. All right, if I'm going to save that for a moment, I'm just going to hit the lightning bolt over here to live preview this web page. That's how we're looking at the moment. So we've got our header at the top, and we've got our nav bar sitting here at the moment, which is an unordered list at the minute. We'll have to wait until we get to our CSS styling to change the look of that menu bar or nav bar. All right, what we might do is link these up. Okay, so next to the word home there, let's put in the href tag, and we're going to link it to the index.html page. Don't forget we need to move that closing A tag there, so just highlight it and press Control X to cut it out and put it after the word home. Okay, so we've got the word home now as a hyperlink. Do the same for the other two pages, let's do the ahref tag again. Remember lyrics will link to the lyrics.html page. Don't forget to move the A tag after the word lyrics. Okay. And finally, we'll do the ahref tag one more time and link the video to the video.html page. Again, move the closing a tag here by Control X, cutting it out and pasting it in, by pressing Control V after the word video. Okay, so the word video is wrapped up inside that link tag. So if I save that now, you'll see in our live preview that we've got three hyperlinks now. Okay, they would work, but at as we haven't done anything on the other pages, they just come up as a white page. All right, so we've got our nav bar working for the moment. All right, so make sure your unordered list is closed off and make sure your nav section is closed off. That's our nav bar all done. What we're up to now is the main section of our page. So we're gonna do that up inside an article tag. Okay, it's our main chunk of writing. First thing we're gonna do is put in a picture of Justin Timberlake. Okay, so we're going to indent across and use the image source tag. Okay, just use the shortcut here by clicking on images and we want the picture of justin.jpg. Just close that up. Now just remember if for some reason your users are using a web browser that won't display that picture, we want to have a bit of alternate text in its place. Okay, just so people know what picture would have been there in case it doesn't load properly. So we need to go back inside the tags there, write the word alt which stands for alternate text. And in quotation marks, we're just going to write Justin Timberlake because it is a picture of him. All right, so if we save that now and go and have a look at our live preview, you can see what our picture, which is quite large at the moment. Again, we will resize that later on using our CSS. Okay, so that's the first thing that goes in. Um, what I might do is put that in its own paragraph because we're going to make some more paragraphs below this. So just put some P tags, an opening and closing P tag around that image. That just makes it in a paragraph of its own. All right. 
Coming in next, we're going to put in all the information about Justin Timberlake that we have in this info document over here. So you can see we've got the index page here. What we're going to do is highlight the first paragraph. Simply press Control C to copy it. Go back to brackets and press Control V to paste it in. And what you want to do is put that in its own paragraph. So put some P tags around the start and then around the end. So that paragraph is now enclosed within the P tags. Now you'll notice inside this paragraph we've got a section of red writing down here around the R and B focused bit. And the reason it's red is because HTML code doesn't understand that and sign symbol or the ampersand symbol. What you need to do is you need to put in a bit of special code there to make that work. Okay, so when you see that and symbol, you need to leave it there and write the word amp after it and then a semicolon. And what that little piece of code does is it will display the ampersand sign or that little and symbol. Okay, that's the first paragraph done. Let's just go back to the info document and we'll copy this next paragraph. It's quite a big one. Control C to copy. Back over to brackets. I'm going to open up a P tag. Closing P tag automatically comes, and in between them, I'm just going to press Control V to paste them in. Now you'll notice just off to the right here, where it says suit and tie, we've got that little ampersand symbol again. So just write the word amp and a semicolon after it, and that will display the ampersand symbol. All right. So you can see the closing P tag there matches up with the opening P tag there, which is good. We've got one more paragraph to put in, so just make room for one more. Go and copy it from over on the info document and make your P tags up and paste it inside them. Okay, there's no ampersand signs in that section, so we don't need to change anything there. Okay, so that's the main written part done or our article section done. So let's just Make sure our closing article tag comes below all of that, and we'll save it and have a look. So Control S to save. Over to Live Preview, if we scroll down, you can see we've got three different paragraphs. Okay, so the text is working nicely in those three paragraphs. Now let's click below the article tag now. So there's our closing article tag. We're going to come in below that now. And all we want to put in here is a footer. So let's open up the footer tag. What we're going to do is write copyright. Now to do a copyright symbol, we need to do the ampersand sign again and write the word copy and put a semicolon. What that's going to do is do a little C inside a circle, which is the copyright symbol. Okay, after that we're going to write 2017 and then Justin Timberlake, just to remind people that this web page is copyright protected to Justin Timberlake. Right. So once we close that footer off, we should have the closing body tag coming in below that and then the closing HTML tag to close off our web page. And that is basically our index page done for now. Okay, so let's go and have a look at it. I've just saved it. Got our header at the top, got our nav bar, both looking very ugly at the moment. Got a gigantic picture which needs to be resized. Got three paragraphs of information there, and right at the bottom we have a little footer. So that's our index page all done. Okay, we just need to come back later with the CSS and style it up. So what we're going to do now is start work on the lyrics page. Okay, and the lyrics page, it's somewhat similar to the index page at the top. Okay, so we, what we're going to do is a little bit of a copy and paste job. So I'm going to scroll back up the top of the index page here, and I'm going to select from line 1 all the way down to line 16 here. Okay, so we're going to copy the HTML, the head section, the title, the start of the body, which has a header, and the nav bar. Okay, at the end of the nav bar, that's where we're going to stop. So I'm just going to go to edit and copy that, or press Control C. Jump back over to my lyrics and just Control V to paste that in. All right. Okay, we don't really need to touch any of that up here. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to keep going down. And what we're going to do in the next section is we're going to start working on the article bit. Okay, so as you can see, we're already inside the body tag here. We've got a header. And we've got the nav bar. Okay, coming in below the nav bar, we've got the article section. All right. Inside this article section, there's a few things that are going to happen. The first one is the audio track. Okay, and what we're going to do is break that off into its own little section. So inside the article tags, I'm going to open up some more tags called section tags. Okay, and inside the section tags, I'm going to do up an audio tag. All right. 
inside the audio tags we need to direct our web page to where that audio track is saved okay so I'm simply just gonna write in the word source put a space and write SRC so basically saying source source equals in quotation marks I'm just gonna click on the media folder here and choose the audio.mp3 okay and while we've got that in there we need to put a space and we need to tell our web page what type of audio file that is so we just write type equals in quotation marks we say it's an audio track and then do a forward slash and write mpeg okay it's an mp3 file so it's part of the mpeg family so just write the word mpeg there and you can close off your pointy bracket all right that basically puts in an audio track that little section of code there so if I save that up and just go over to my live preview okay a bit hard to see at the moment and the reason is we haven't actually told the code to display the controls for this audio track. I knew I'd forgotten something. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the audio tag, the first one, just put a space in it and write controls. Okay, and that will actually display the play button, the pause button, the volume and whatnot. So if I save that, have a look, we should now see our little audio track. If we press play, you can hear it playing. I don't think you'll hear that through my headphones, but that is actually playing, so it should work on yours as well. So that little bit there will display the audio track. Now sometimes, on different devices, that audio track's not going to work. So what we need to do is put in an error message for those people. Okay, so what we do is just go below the source tags here onto a new line, and we just write, your browser does not support the audio element. So for some reason, your user's browser doesn't actually let them play that track that's the text that's going to appear okay that's all I'm going to add in for the audio track okay, pretty easy so just make sure you save that up coming in below that section is all the lyrics to his uh, one of his biggest hits of 2016 can't stop the feeling so what I'm going to do we're outside the section tags now but we're still inside the article okay, this is the main chunk of writing I'm going to put in a heading, not a H1 heading, just a H2 heading, so a little bit smaller. And it's the name of the song, Can't Stop the Feeling. Okay. That's our first bit. And coming in below that, we're going to put in the lyrics. So if I go back to this Word document over here, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. We've got all the lyrics here, starting with verse 1, all the way down to post-chorus 3. So it's a good two to three pages worth of lyrics. I'm going to copy and simply paste in. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see this. So you've got all these lyrics that have been pasted in and they haven't indented on our page very well. Verse 1 indented across, the rest didn't. So I'm going to highlight the lyrics that we just pasted in. Simply press tab a few times until it all lines up with verse 1. That's all indented across. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do here, actually I'll just save that and have a preview first. Yeah, so here's all our lyrics. Looking good, but we need to style it up just a little bit to break it into sections, okay? So what I'm going to do is these little sections here with brackets around them, I'm going to break them up into little headings. Not H2 headings, this time they're going to be H4 headings. Okay, so the opening H4 tag as around the start, the closing H4 tag will go around the end. Okay, it just hugs that heading. So I'm going to copy that opening H4 tag, and before pre-chorus one, the chorus, I'm just going to paste these in. Post-chorus, verse two, pre-chorus two, chorus, post-chorus two. Geez, we've got a lot here. We've got the bridge, we've got the chorus, we've got the post-chorus. There we go. Finally through them. And then I'm going to copy the closing H4 tag from up back on verse 1 there. I'm going to copy that by pressing Control C and paste it after all of those headings. Okay, so it's just a Control C to copy, Control V to paste job. That's just going to break up each section of the song. If I save that and have a look now in my live preview, you can see all the verses and choruses and bridges and whatnot broken up now. So it makes those lyrics a lot easier to read. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. 
As we work our way down the bottom, what we need to do next is close off the article section and put in a footer. Okay, so I've got a little bit of space here I'll just get rid of. There's the article section closed off. Now coming in below the article section, what we want to do is put in a footer again. And it's the same as before. Okay, it's a copyright statement. So you can copy it off your other page or you can just write it in again. So it's copyright and copy ampersand, which is the little copyright symbol. 2017, Justin Timberlake. That's it. Coming in below the footer, we close off our body tag and then close off our HTML tag. So we've closed off our body section and we've closed off the entire web page to say we've finished it. Okay, so that will probably do us for now. I'm going to save that again. Preview it, just make sure it's all good. We've got our audio track, our header and our nav bar at the top. And then we've got all the lyrics to the song. Looks good. You can see right at the bottom there, we've got the copyright statement which again will be formatted a bit later on in the CSS section. So that's our lyrics page done. It's looking good. Time to work on the video. Alright, so what we're going to do for the video, it's copy and paste job again at the top. We're going to highlight from line 1 all the way down to line 16 which copies the heading section and the nav bar. Control C to copy it. Over on the video now, we're just going to go in and press Control V to paste it in. Alrighty, so there's not much we need to change in that top bit, in fact nothing. What we're going to do, since we don't have any writing in this bit, I'm not going to worry about making up an article section, I'm simply just going to make a little section. Okay, and in this section, that's where we're going to put the video. Alright, so inside the section I'm just going to make a new paragraph and write Watch Justin Timberlake's Hot Single can't stop the feeling. Alright. And we close that paragraph off. Coming in below that paragraph, we've got the video. Okay, so the code to put a video in is quite easy. We just put in the video tag. Again, we need to show the controls for our video. So the play button, the pause button, the volume and that. So just after the word video, write controls. Okay. Now coming in underneath that, we've got to point to the source of that video. So let's write in the word source and then space src equals in quotation marks. Look in your media folder and select the video.mp4 and then close off. Actually, you don't want to close off the bracket yet. What we need to do is tell the computer what type of video that is. So just write the word type equals in quotation marks. Tell the computer it's a video and it's an mp4 video. Then you can close your pointy bracket. Alright, so our source, where are we looking for this video? We look in our media folder, and it's called video.mp4. The type of video is an mp4 video. I think in web pages you can only um, select three different types of video. I think it's mp4.ogg, uh, so .og, and one other. It could be .mov or .avi, I can't remember. But anyway, mp4s are probably the best to use for our projects. Alrighty, and then the last thing we need to do is put in an error message in case our user's uh, web browser doesn't display video. So we'll just write in, your browser does not support the video tag. Full stop. So that little section of code there will put a video into your web page. Alright, I'm going to save that up and have a preview. There's our video with our play button. I'll just need to stretch this out a bit to see it. It's quite large, but again, we do style that up in our CSS shortly. Alright, so close the section off. After that section, it's quite simple. We just put in the footer, and it's the same as the other pages yet again. So copyright, with the copyright symbol, 2017, Justin Timberlake. Close the footer off. On the next line, close your body. On the line after that, close your HTML off. Alright, so very short web page that one. If you save it, preview it, got our header, nav bar, got the video, and our footer. Couldn't be much easier than that. Alright, so I'm just going to go through these nav bars up the top here, make sure that all the links work, which they seem to. Alrighty, so we've got our HTML section done for the time being. What we're going to do now is stop the video, and we're going to come back in the second part, and we're going to put the CSS together.
Alrighty, so I'm just going to close off that. Make sure everything's saved, which it is. If it's not saved, just go to File and Save All. And you're done for now. I'll see you in the second video when we start to make up our CSS document.